And now our community report, an inspiring story of compassion and resilience in our own community. One woman donating her life to rescuing horses, devoting rather, I should say, her life to rescuing horses from an uncertain fate. WSAB's Tyler Nicole takes us behind the scenes of this life-saving operation. What started as a dream and a prayer has turned into a rescue mission to give these animals a second chance at life. We're just trying to help their journey be a little better one. Evermore Farms is the home of Rain, rescuing equines in need. It's a nonprofit organization that Eleanor and her friend Joy created to save horses from Texas kill pens and give them a new life by finding forever homes or putting them to work in jobs they enjoy, like teaching lessons or competing in horse shows. And over the years, we just talked about all the horses in need and, and how expensive horses have gotten and, and trying to find a, a less expensive way to find some nice horses for people and, and to be able to provide horses with a second career or, or, or a life or a goal and to let the horses tell us what they wanted to do. Um, some horses don't fit into every category, but we just try to find horses that can, and then we try to find the job that they want to do. So we've now pulled three groups of horses out of Texas. So what exactly is a kill pen and why do horses get sent there? Eleanor says it's a question she wishes she had the answer to. We do not have any slaughterhouses in this country any longer. So the horses that are going for slaughter for either dog food or other animal products or human consumption, because a lot of the rest of the world does eat horse meat. We don't believe in it, but a lot of the world does. Um, so a lot is exported to other countries. Um, these horses have to go to Mexico or Canada. And that's a terrible long journey for a lot of these older horses. Eleanor tells me what helps these horses rehabilitate are the people that show their love and affection by giving them a purpose. <laughs> so we do a little of, of everything between the college program and our high school and middle school teams. And we have a large group of young riders that we bring up and teach about horsemanship. Um, I have a group of older ladies that ride with me as well. Um, it's, it's the outside of the horse is good for the inside of man. And so, you know, everybody's Everybody wins. If you would like to donate to Rain or volunteer, even take lessons at Evermore Farms, you can find the link to do all of that on our website, WSAV.com. Reporting in Brooklyn, Tyler Nicole, WSAV News 3, on your side.